to virtualize everything. Tonight, we're going to be following a write-up that I did on Virtualize Everything's website, virtualizeeverything.com, on installing OpenWRT in a Proxmox LXC container. So if you viewed Canonical's website, you've actually seen that there's a whole entire database of LXC templates there, and we're able to use almost all of them. But the OpenWRT template, when you try to download it and run it, presents problems. Well, we have a few workarounds around that, but we're unable to use Proxmox's web interface to do it. So tonight is meant to be a tutorial on just how to get OpenWRT up and running on your system. So let's look at the process. The first thing we need to do is browse to this path. And once you fill out a few more questions, you'll end up here. So you're going to need to give it the version number and the type of system you're running. And then you're going to end up at this window. So then we're going to need to download it. So the roots tar xz file is what we're going to need. So let's copy the link address, go to our system, select local, and download from URL. Download that. And we're going to call the file openwrt.tar.xz. Now we're given a hash algorithm, so let's go ahead and use that and download. All right, so now we have the template. So we can try the web console feature just to see what happens. So let's select our server. And here's the error message. It doesn't know the what operating system we're using, so it won't create. Well, let's exit out and show you how to get around that. Because we can actually tell it the operating system and the other information it needs to go. And we're going to do that with this command here. So let's open the shell for the server and paste the command in and go through the command. So pct create is the command to create a container. That's followed by the container ID. Now I have a container of 202 already on this system or this cluster, so we're going to call it 203. Then we have a path and the end of the path is the name openwrt.tar.exe. That's the name of the template that we downloaded. So you might need to edit that if you gave it a different name than I did. Then we're going to tell it that it's Arch Linux instead of OpenWRT to get this to boot, and that it's for an AMD64 system and not an ARM64 bit system. The host name that we're going to give it is OpenWRT 21.02. And we're telling it that we're using the roots FS. And we want to store it in the local LVM under a container ID number of 203 with one gig of memory and two CPU cores max. OS type of unmanaged and an unprivileged container. All right. So we hit enter and we've made our container. So now we can close our shell. And we see our container right here. But there's no network configured. So let's go ahead and look at adding some network to this. Zero. And we're going to put it on this bridge. And we're going to assign that to DHCP. Then we're going to go ETH1. And I'm also, I'm going to put it on the outgoing bridge and we'll leave it static. Alrighty, now we can go ahead and start this up and open the console and watch it, watch it boot. Alright, so let's see if we can get into the web interface. And it's 76. And here we are. We're in 
and OpenWRT 21.02 is running in a container. Mind you, you're going to have to do a fair amount of configuration, and at this point, we only have one Ethernet port set up. So to get you started, let's go ahead and head over to Network and Interfaces. And now you have two ports set up and ready to be used, but one of them looks to be a V6 port. So to add your next port, let's hit Add Interface. So there's your second port set up and working. Stay tuned for more videos to come on configuration as we work more with OpenWRT. But there you have it. We have OpenWRT working in a container on your Proxmox system. I hope you found this useful and at least educational. As always, have a good night.